device to device transfer, you do not have to re-enter any of your old passwords or credentials. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Tech. It's been a while since we did a tech video, and it's been two years since I upgraded to my iPhone XR, and usually a two year upgrade cycle, a two to three year upgrade cycle is a pretty good idea. Even though it was brand new when I bought it, it was a year behind the current versions. I usually do that. Um, this is the year that the iPhone 13 has just come out, and what I've done is I found an open box iPhone 12. I found an open box iPhone 12, 128 gig, product red, and the aluminum rail is very nice, but the back of the new red of the iPhone 12 red, it's very much like a coral, a pinkish red, an orangey red. It's a very hard to decipher color. I do like it. Um, some, may, some people may think it's a little bit feminine looking, but it's very easy to cover up the pinkish hue. With just any case, because for the most of the time you're gonna be looking at it from the front and the aluminum rails are very red, very nice red color. The back is unique, I do like it, it just takes some getting used to. The point of this video is, uh, it's been a couple years since I did an upgrade. I'm still running the Apple Watch Series 3, still holding on to that, still use it every single day, it's pretty good. The last video that I made about Apple stuff was how much of kind of a pain in the butt it was to transfer from a, an old phone to a new phone and then pair it with your watch. Apparently this is all improved significantly. So we're gonna go through that upgrade cycle now. There's now a way you can do a local transfer. I, it will allow me to transfer all of my data from this phone to this phone, and we're gonna do that now. So I just need to power this one on. And once it starts asking me to do the setup, I will show you how that works. Now all of these are running on iOS 14, and I can tell that because instead of it having the handwritten script of iOS 15, I can tell this is 14 just by this initial very first screen. Is you just slide up, I'm gonna choose my English, I'm going to choose, I live in Canada, so we're going to choose Canada, bring phone near, and immediately we get a setup iPhone, continue. Now this is waiting for me to scan, so I just scan over the little code, and it says finishing on new phone, enter the passcode of your old phone, and it should ask me here in a minute if I want to do a over the iCloud transfer, or if I want to do a direct phone to phone transfer. It says on my old phone, it's finish on new iPhone. Keep this phone near your device while the information is transferred. And on this one, it's saying it's taking a few minutes to activate the 12. All right, you do need to do your face ID again. It just takes a couple seconds. This is one thing that you cannot transfer over from device to device. So just quickly set up your face ID. But one of the things you do get a benefit of of doing the device to device transfer is that you do not have to re-enter any of your old passwords or credentials. Being able to do the device to device transfer, all the passwords and security stuff carries over, you don't have to re-enter it, but you do have to do Face ID. All right, this is the most important step here that I wanted to show you, is that now you can transfer directly from iPhone or from iCloud. This top one, even though it says it'll take longer, it's it's a really great feature. Thank you, Apple, for putting this in. It'll be ready when your data is ready. So we just have to click here, setting up Apple ID, and then I'm gonna just keep these two phones close together, and they're gonna do a transfer over directly. Okay, it did know my credit card information and I just had to re-enter the CCV and uh, so that's good, you don't have to re-enter your card again. Another big feature of this transfer or iOS 14 is that now it prompts you if I wanna switch over to the Apple Watch. So I made a whole video about that previously where saying when you upgraded a phone, it would keep your Apple Watch paired to the old phone which usually you never wanted. Now it actually asks you, hey, do you want to set it up with your with your new phone? Of course you do. So, yes I do. No. There we go. Starting the transfer. It does recommend connecting your old phone to power, so I've done that. Just in case, as it was starting to run a little bit low. But it's only been a minute and it says it's going to be about 12 minutes remaining. Uh, also, I am doubling capacity. I'm going from a 64 gigabyte XR to a 128 gigabyte iPhone 12. 
All right, it's been less than 15 minutes and the phone just rebooted and I believe this is now my phone. Uh, no SIM card installed, it's just warning me that, that I don't have my SIM card in. So I do have to transfer my SIM over from the old phone to the new phone. But it's already, all of my apps are here. It, did it actually download any of them? I think it just got the placeholders for the apps and it's gonna start downloading them off the internet. Let's see if my photos and settings are here. Big benefit, the big benefit is that all of your photos come over if you keep them locally. Um, and all of my security settings will be here. All of my personalized settings will be here. Just confirming this is great. This is a 128 gig phone now. And look at all of my photos came over. 9 gig of photos, 838 mega video. And then here's all of my app data came over as well. So that's the big thing. You have to re-download the apps, but all of your app data came across. So all of your configurations, all of your settings, all of your data will be here. That's great. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more and then uh, I'm gonna upgrade to iOS 15 later. I'm holding off on iOS 15 because iOS 14 is very stable for me. I like it a lot. I don't need any of the features of 15 yet. And then after I upgrade the 15, I'll see if I can get my watch up to the newest version. There is an issue with the uh, Apple Watch Series 3 is that it can never auto update itself. You always have to fully reset uh, to get it to update. That is a weird bug, uh, I've noticed that on a lot of people talking about the Series 3. This is still the 199 Series 3 that I've had for years. I do like it a lot. Uh, the other benefit of going from the XR or an iPhone 11 to the 12 is that this is now an OLED screen and it's twice the resolution. This is a 720p equivalent uh, LCD, dis LCD display. This is a, you know, a 2K equivalent OLED display. As well as it has ma majorly upgraded cameras, f1.6 main camera and the ultra wide, both can shoot in 4K 60. But I'm very happy to have the wide angle camera now uh, to make some of my track videos and stuff a little bit better with the camera that's always on me, which is my phone. Uh, local transfer works great. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.